Okay, we're going to cover the part probe parameters <clears throat> for part probing. Right now we're in the part setup, part probing menu. We're going to select the top soft key for part probe parameters. And that'll bring us to this field, or these fields. The first one is whether or not the probe is present. If this is set to no, there will be no other fields that are visible. So we'll want to make sure that's set to yes. The first one is the stylus diameter. So measure the ruby at the tip of the stylus that you're using. That's important. And you'll put that value here. Fast start feed, when this is used for the z-axis approach feed inside of a program, if you're doing probing cycles in a program as your first block, for example, this is the, the z-feed that that tooltip will approach the start point. The approach feed is used by the part setup probing cycles when we're manually finding part setup zero. So it's going to approach at this feed rate. Once it makes contact with the part, it's going to then take measurements at the measurement feed rate. And it's going to complete the probing cycle that you have selected the number of times set in repetition. So in this case, it would probe the feature two separate times to find zero. That's true for everything except circles, which we'll talk about in a minute. The next min and max fields, these are the minimum and maximum travels of an, your individual machine. This example is on a VMX 42, so we have from 0 to 42 positive in X, 0 to 24 positive in Y, and a negative 24 in Z. The max spread, this is the acceptable deviation between repetitions of a probing cycle. For example, if I'm probing the inside of a rectangular pocket and it goes through and it hits its four points and it moves back to center and then it hits those again, if the v deviation between what it found as the center points between those is more than this value here, then you're going to get an alarm that is thrown. The maximum Setting for this field is 4 thousandths, 0 0.004. I usually set it to 0 0.002 and I don't have a problem. This doesn't necessarily mean that your center of your location is going to be off by 2 thousandths. It's just um, maybe you have a burnout. You're trying to indicate or trying to probe the inside of a burned out um, square on a plate. The deviation could be more than this, and then it's going to cause you a problem. You would probably want to find a better way to do that. I indicated that repetitions we talked about earlier doesn't affect circles. This is where we determine how many times it completes its, its touches during a circular um, cycle. These next two are scale factors that are used by the control. We really don't have to change these. Um, one is a good value that I've always used and I've never had a reason to change it. I can't even give an example of why I would change it, but one seems to work well. And the last one here is the retract feed. This is the speed at which the tool or the tip is, of the probe is going to move away from the part back to its starting point after the probing cycle is complete.